Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're back here at the Pneumatic Press. So one of the things I've done is I've uh, spun up uh, kind of a blank die uh, out of uh, Delrin on the lathe for this. So this has got a little short of a 16 millimeter throat on it. And basically what happens is the die goes in here. What I'm doing is I'm experimenting with the, the Delrin. Is This is what I plan to make my dies out of. And what I want to do is whip up a bunch of blank dies and then uh, cut them on the CNC. Uh, and so right for right now, I just have an aluminum blank down here. And one of the things we're going to experiment with is stress testing on some um, 3D printed parts. One of the things I want to do with this is, is build this into a uh, plastics uh, test rig, if you will. I don't have that quite set up now. I've ordered some more parts for it. But it's like, what the heck? Why not experiment with this? So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this part. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use my iPhone to do a high-speed video of this. So uh, we'll cut over, do the high-speed video, and then we will come back and talk about this a little bit more. And I'll explain about how this works, and we'll look at a couple more things on it. So let's go crush something. Okay, welcome back. So, as you saw in the time lapse, it, it kind of, uh, not time lapse, slow motion, it pushed this over, then stamped it. Did a pretty good job of stamping it. This is, uh, I believe, a PLA hips mix. Um, and, and it's kind of curious, fairly resilient. Uh, but, anyways, um, worked out pretty well. So, one of the things I want to talk about so, I've got the unit turned off, also air removed, so it's safe to have your fingers around because this thing, you know, has the potential to get your fingers. I'm only using it at 120 psi, that's all my compressor down there puts out. So, that's functionally probably about 300, 350 pounds, but it's enough to, to hurt you. So, again, safety first. A um, couple different things. Uh, this uh, solenoid seems to be an all or nothing solenoid. You hit this foot pedal, basically it'll engage it, push it down. You release the foot pedal, it comes back up. It's got two stages, so air to come back up, air to go down. Um, again, all this box does is turn it on and off. Uh, i got the cheap Chinese gauge over here. I've ordered a digital gauge so I can get more precise on my adjustments for pressure. Also, uh, I'm going to get a scale for down here because what I'm going to do is build a fixture um, to uh, uh, do testing on 3D prints. And so I'll have more on that in the near future to show you how I, I work all that up. So Because I thought this was a, a neat basis for kind of a multi-purpose tool. One is for obviously doing uh, 3D print stress test. The second piece is, is to actually use it as a press. As I mentioned before, I made this blank die on the uh, lathe. I'm going to do some on the CNC. Made it out of Delrin. Um, for this purpose, works great. Um, just held in here by this uh, screw. You can see the, the die, it's pretty simple. And the idea is, is I'll have it so I can machine in uh, embossing stuff or a receiving piece, say down here in the, like this aluminum, that would receive it and you know could stamp something out. You know, it's going to be probably not. Uh, you know, too heavy duty of stamping, you know, probably some real light metal like very thin brass or something like that. Uh, maybe some light plastics, paper, cardboard, that kind of stuff. Uh, also, I'm hoping maybe it can do leather, do some light embossing, uh, maybe like metal pins, some light metal pins, if I drop this. Um, so I'll put this back in here. Remember, safety first, I've got the air disconnected and it powered off, so. The other piece I want to talk about is up here. I'm going to pan you guys up for a second. It actually controls the stroke because when it comes down and hits this bottom piece here to here, this is where the stroke will stop. And so you can adjust this up or down and then uh, take this locking screw and tighten it on because this is actually your uh, piston shaft that runs through here. Uh, again, double flow, so down and up under air pressure, so it returns up, so kind of like a double stroke. There does appear to be some adjustments on this uh, solenoid valve. 
Uh, I haven't figured out if it does anything yet or what, but there seems to be an adjustment here. And there's also adjustment on the side um, that does that may do may may do something because, like I mentioned, there's a more expensive version that replaces this little simple button box with a more complicated Arduino controller, for lack of a better explanation, for about a hundred bucks more, which I can't really see a big value in. Uh, but you know it, it seems like you might be able to control the stroke or the pressure or the delay a bit with that but I'm it looks like it's got the same solenoids I'm thinking it just you know does some pretty basic things um, anyway so far for 180 bucks I'm really happy with this I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun messing around with this um, and I think it's gonna be great for testing 3d prints too so I'm pretty excited I pin you guys back down because I'm pointing down here and you guys are looking up at the top. So anyways, um, I think this is actually going to be pretty exciting uh, for different projects. So if you guys can think of some projects, hit me up in the comments below what you would like to see me make with this, make out of it, do with it. Um, uh, again, for 180 bucks to have a desktop press like this, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to experiment, uh, you know, again, with different air pressures and things like that, see what I get out of it. Uh, once I get to scale, I'll be able to measure how much force is, is coming down, and then I'll get the fixture set up. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, big thumbs up. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'll have the link for this down below if you want to get one for yourself, for your shop. Um, also, don't forget, subscribe is going to be coming up over there, over there, someplace. And Swag Shop's in the corner, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we crush something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.